We've got a big update, a huge update on our favorite interstellar object. It could be the biggest update in the solar system. Take a look at this. This is 3i Atlas. You know how the last time we talked about it, it went behind the sun, then it got brighter, then it got bluer, then it started to go faster, non-gravitational acceleration? Well, guess what? We just got new images of it. And to add some more strangeness to the 3i Atlas saga, because, like, I don't want to overhype this, but yeah, you see, that's a comet. It does not have a very big, very noticeable cometary tail. That's what we were thinking we were gonna see. So let's get straight over to Harvard astronomer, Professor Avi Loeb, the world-renowned expert on all these things, all things interstellar. Uh, Professor, the last time we spoke, which was like the day before yesterday, you were saying that when it went behind the sun, the natural explanation for the non-gravitational acceleration in the thrust might be because it burned off a bunch of chemicals or something, and that was giving it the thrust to the tune of like 13 percent and we would see a humongous tail maybe what is going on yeah that's very surprising because uh, there should have been a, a very massive cloud of gas and dust around it uh, based on what we know about comets in fact we see other uh, comets in the solar system that uh, have a beautiful tail away from the sun behind them. Lemon is an excellent example but uh, in our case of uh, three eye atlas it looks like a fuzzy ball of light. Even after it passed through uh, perihelion, it was heated by 770 watts per square meter. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, the previous plume of gas was uh, mostly carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide ices uh, can sublimate at a much lower temperature than water ice. So we should have seen it break up or at the very least disintegrate to a, a very dense and massive cloud of gas and dust that is pushed away from the sun by the solar radiation and the solar uh, wind. But we don't see that. So the question is, what's going on? One possibility is that what evaporates from it are uh, fragments of ice, and they get vaporized by sunlight before they have a chance to turn around and show up as a mm. plume of, uh, of glow behind it, away from the sun. That's one possible interpretation, but otherwise I just don't know what to make of it. There was also a blue color uh, that was noticed uh, just a few days ago, and uh, also in addition to that, it became brighter by a factor of five. So um, what I'm saying is, you know, the, the, there are things we don't fully understand about this object. That's what makes it exciting. And I think uh, all of us will wait for the data that will come in the coming weeks. Uh, and especially on December 19th, when it comes closest to Earth. That's six days before Christmas. And let's hope we don't get uh, unwanted gifts for our holidays. Or, or at least maybe those gifts will be nice and friendly and wonderful and help us figure the universe out. We'll see. Uh, Avi, you do not seem surprised here. I, I know that we've been asking you about this, and, and we were all expecting to see a tale, and we asked you for a natural, plausible explanation. You gave us that one, and now we're seeing no tale? Like, what do you think it is? I don't know. Uh, I think... Uh... You know, it's like a blind date with an interstellar object that came from an environment that is uh, alien to us. And and uh, I think the key question is whether it's natural or technological. The secondary question, if it's natural, uh, what kind of an environment did it come from? Mm -hmm. It must be a common environment that produces large packages delivered to our mailbox. And we just need to find out the sender. Uh, either way, it's thrilling. And it's really the reason why science is worthwhile doing, because we can gain new knowledge. And that goes against the tendency of experts to pretend to be the adults in the room that know the answer in advance. Well, guess what? This object is telling the experts, think twice. Well, unlike um, 3 Eye Atlas, this tale is far from over, and we will be dialing you up every twist and turn. Uh, Avi Loeb, always a pleasure to see you and to talk to you, and we can't wait uh, to see what happens next. Thanks so very much. We thank you for watching, and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.